Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. So hot on the heels of our unboxing of the Epson 7510, the wide format printer, I have in the uh, in the office, in the studio, the RyHack Ink Link system. This is a CISS, a continuous ink supply system. And this is uh, a great way to do your ink especially with a printer like the 7510. So this is 120 from Ryhack, and if you want to add the pigment ink, which I did, so you're getting something similar to the Epson Ultra Chrome pigment inks, pigment ink is an extra $68. So an extra, uh, a total here of 186 for the complete ink link system, the CISS from Ryhack, and that includes 400 milliliters of the pigment ink, uh, which Ryhack says is equivalent to approximately 40 cartridges from Epson. Now, if I flip over here on my laptop to Amazon, I'm looking at the uh, three pack for the 7510 is a cyan, magenta, and yellow, and that is $49 uh, on Amazon. And the black is $33.39. So you're looking at about 82 bucks. Uh, so if you figure that's the four cartridges there, and this is equivalent to 40, you're looking at somewhere around $800 worth of ink that comes with the ink link system. Now, you can get the refills of this on Ryhack site. You get 400 milliliters of the Pigment Pro ink is currently $112. So a fraction of the cost and you have the convenience that it's in a CISS. The ink link automatically feeds this without having to change cartridges. So we'll unbox it and we'll show you what the ink link looks like, what the ink link CISS from Ryhack looks like. We'll open up the top of the box here. I haven't had this, this one open yet myself. I can tell you that I do have an ink link on my Epson Stylus Photo 1400 and it works wonderfully. I love it. So, We've got uh, some instructions and a little brochure. We've got nicely packaged here with a uh, kind of that crushed egg crate type cardboard so to prevent any damage to the system. And here is the system itself. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a close up for you. But basically what we have here is we have the system that sits beside the printer and it has four reservoirs, four individual reservoirs in here for black, cyan, yellow, magenta. And then it feeds through the tubing and then into the printer. And it's very simple. There's nothing really uh, complicated in hookups here. I'll show you here what we've got is that the end of the tubing is basically a set of cartridges, if you will. So they just plug in to where you were, just being careful here because I don't want to uh, cut the tubing because that would not be good. And um, it's nicely packaged with a, um, a lot of bubble wrap here so there's no damage in shipping. So essentially what we have here is it's like a four pack of the uh, original cartridges that pop right in where the cartridges go. So there's no uh, no having to know a lot of technical know-how of hooking this up because these just pop in where your cartridges go very easily. And then there's just a little procedure of priming the system and whatnot, and then you're good to go. I hooked uh, the one up on my stylus photo probably in 15, 20 minutes. It was very easy and it works very well. And let's see what else we have in the, in the, in the box here. Some additional parts. Looks like they even gave us uh, an, a spare um, cartridge. So I'm assuming that's if, if something's damaged or something. And uh, oh, a whole bag of, of parts. And we have some syringes and whatnot here. Um, and uh, some other parts. And this is just for um, the procedure that you go through to make sure that there's no air in the system. And it's very simple. I've done it before on the 1400. Uh, as I said, you can hook it up in probably 15, 20 minutes. Uh, and I'm being conservative there because I like to just take my time, make sure everything's correct. So there you have it, folks. That is the uh, Ryhack Inklink CISS, Continuous Ink Supply System. We're going to hook this up to the new 7510 I got in from Epson. And um, then I'm going to give you an ongoing review. Uh, I can tell you based on the Stylus Photo 1400 and the one I have hooked to it, I love the system, so I'm really excited to get this going on the 7510. 
Um, but we'll give you an ongoing review, let you know how things are going with it, and uh, we'll keep you up to date uh, with uh, how the Ink Link is working with the 7510. Uh, I'll put a link below for you to Ryhack if you're interested in checking them out. Um, you can see they have uh, Ink Links for a lot of printers. I'm not going to say everyone out there, but a lot of them. And you can check on their site and see if they have one for yours. Um, you can get the ink there as well. Um, you don't have to get it with the, the pigment ink, uh, but you can read up um, about their pigment ink and see what's best for you, the pigment or the dye inks. And uh, yeah, check it out. I'll put the link below. Uh, I'll put a link below for you to the 7510 on Amazon, the Epson, in case you missed it. And uh, stay tuned. We'll be back soon with some more videos, some more articles. We'll keep you up to date with what's going on in the world of photography, videography, and technology right here at artofimage.com. Thanks a lot, folks.